Hi, my name is Rolly Ibe. I I've been a professional for close to 25 years. I started off in banking and now I'm in oil and gas. I head um, human resource function. Data analytics is big in the HR sphere because there's so much information in data. But the most important thing I would say about data analytics is you have to apply data and make sense to it. You have to make it into a story, you have to make people see the big picture and it has to have an impact on whichever organization, whichever, whichever project, whichever thing you want to use it for. So it's actually a powerful tool, but the trick to it is to know how to use it, when to use it and what to use it for. In today's work environment, you need people who are versatile with their competencies, skills, knowledge and abilities. Um, your ability to move from one um, skill to another, it's an asset to whoever you work with, even if it's for yourself. Um, having a broad spell of fills will open doors for you. Um, in, in, in today's dynamic workplace, you have to be flexible, you have to have those skills that will take you to the next level. So it's very important that um, one is analytic, one has leadership and soft skills and uh, knows how to manage people, uh, in addition to values of integrity, teamwork, and what makes the world tick. The same thing, to know what you really want to do. So for instance, I would use myself as, as an example. I started up in banking and that gave me a financial background. Um, up thereafter, it also mixed it up with relationship and customer management skills. And then I moved into oil and gas and I leveraged on the relationship and customer management skills, as well as some of the financial skills because the first job I had in an oil and gas company was to uh, manage credit which is something I've never done before, debt recovery. And the baseline was managing people, having good customer relationship, managing relationships, because at the end of the day, I ended up in HR. And HR is, apart from being analytic, apart from understand, having to have, understand finances, having to understand the business, be strategic, this also has to be, um, you also have to be good with people because in HR you have to be a face that people can talk to, people can come to, to sort out the problems in an organisation. Finally, I think um, I'd have to say, I, from the little I've seen, I would like to encourage you guys, what you're doing is very, very key. Um, I like it because I'm one of those people who actually like working with data like presenting data in a way that would convince and make businesses make good decisions. I think it's so important, especially in what I do in HR. Um, I don't think HR professionals should be scared of figures. They should be quite comfortable with figures, comfortable with presentations, comfortable with telling the story through figures. My name is Topper Deluni. I work as a business consultant and um, Operations Executive with Galaxy Backbone. Galaxy Backbone is an IT company owned by the federal government. So I manage the business and the operations within the Lagos and the Southwest region. Um, I have a first degree in sociology and I have, a, I have an MBA in marketing. And um, I'm a certified business analyst professional. Like you were talking before uh, the interview, a, a lot of others move around data but we don't know how to use it and it's not it's not it's not a new it's not a new issue it's been there for so many years a lot of us come across um, data that we could actually analyze to our benefits I mean that advantage that the millennials have you have a lot of information out there that you can actually use to creatively which is what we did not have when we started off and um, I think in every in every career okay take for example sales if you're going to start selling, for, you, you find yourself in a sales environment, and you want to you want to approach a particular sector uh, within the within the economy. I mean, trends of having of the successes and the failures that have occurred in that sector will actually aid your 
uh, your business development drive without you without it tell you what are the things that are, that are going to happen to you in the course in the course of your business development. So data analytics for me in every, in every sphere of this of the of the sector uh, is very useful and it also prepares you. It also prepares you by helping you to identify the kind of resources that you will need on your drive in, in actually trying to approach any of the sectors. So I, I think, um, like I was trying to say to you, I think you guys have done a good job. Uh, I would also um, come and spend some time on how I can also use this uh, this this creative venture on how to make make the best of my own career as well. Okay, um, I think you guys are doing a good job. Um, I I also think that you um, you should um, try and seek as much support as you can get from corporate environments. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> depending on the kind of depending on the industry that you want to approach, if you're able to do some some kind of uh, proactive data management service. Um, that you can document, that you can present to any of these, maybe the top five companies in a particular sector, and probably make a presentation as a backup to your submission. I, I, I think the, the sky is not the limit, the sky is the beginning. I think you know, it will also um, broaden your horizon. I think it will also take you, take you to some places. And um, I, I think also uh, data analysis should be, should every individual who is coming into the corporate environment as a, as a fresher, as a rookie, should have some bit of data experience, a data analysis experience, because at the end of the day, it sets you apart from the, from the normal people. And that is what is, that is what is crucial for the new, for the young ones now. You need to be different because when you look around, everybody, I mean, everything is the same. So something needs to be, there needs to be a differentiating factor between you and the next person. And when I, whenever I go for interviews, that's what I actually look for. And that's why I, when I go for interviews, I do a quick scan of my environment. I want to see what is different. I want to see what I'm going to bring to the table differently. And I think this is part of what the, the, the millennials should learn, data analysis. Hi guys, my name is B. I'm a comedian. Ah, oh, data. You know now. Data is magic. Data is everything. Think about, think about organizations. How did they calculate their money? How did they count how many people they employ? How did they move forward data? So as we all know, data is very, very important. And in every sector, it's something that's needed. So for budding data analysts, I feel it's always important to nurture your skills. It's always important to keep learning, you know, keep you know getting stronger and better in data. You have to still grow in the knowledge because data is very wide. So places like the Italian, you come, you learn what you need to know to move forward in your life. So in my field as a comedian, we use data to analyze you know, how many people are insights. For example, if you, um, I post videos online, I do, you know, I, I do skits online. So, you know, with, with data, we can as well see, you know, how many people reacted to this, how many new followers did you have. So that's how, you know, you can study your growth, you know, as an organization and as a business.